Can the iPhone 12 Pro get wet? Today we are going to answer to this question. First we are going to remove the two screws from the bottom part and with the help of the plastic pick we remove the screen. Hello everyone, I'm Adriana and today with the help of Leonardo we are going to see what we have to do if our device falls into water. Here we can notice that my colleagues have already disconnected the battery connector. In this way we avoid short circuits on the motherboard. The next step is to remove the screws and the protective shields. We will proceed to disconnect all the connectors so we can remove the motherboard. We remove the SIM tray to extract the SIM card reader. Now we can remove the motherboard and perform our detailed inspection with the help of the microscope. We go to the microscope in search of corrosion. In this area we can observe a little bit of corrosion, so we continue inspecting. Personally, I prefer to sanitize the area rather than trying to clean the entire motherboard. If you like this type of content, please give it a strong like, share it and we'll continue uploading real repairs from our workshop. Thank you! Now we'll use a piece of cotton and contact cleaner. To gain a little more space, we remove this protective foam. If you have any doubts about any damaged component, it's better to remove all the resin around it. We 
This week we are going to look at this product that is in the top 10 with many sales. I will leave the purchase link in the description of this video. Finally, we have removed all the rust from the motherboard and we are going to check the device. In this way, we can answer to the $1 million question. What to do if my device has fallen into water? These are the steps that you need to take into account to fix your water damaged device. Now we proceed to assemble the motherboard to the device chassis. We connect the charger and we wait. As you can see, the device turns on perfectly. In this case of having a water damaged device with a non-renewable battery, what we can do is to take it to a technical service so they disconnect the battery connector and prevent it from causing more damage to the motherboard. Guys, thanks for watching. He is Leonardo. This was the video for today and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.